A pergola can be a great addition to any home. It can give you a nice shady space that adds real character to your backyard. Putting one up isn't much of a drama. If you're interested in having a go, I'm going to take you through the job step by step. Now generally, any structure over one metre high needs a building consent, so best check with your local council about the applicable building regulations. Another tip, some environments in New Zealand are quite corrosive to metals, so metal fixings need to be protected against the elements. Either by hot dip galvanising or in more aggressive environments, you want to go with stainless steel. This pergola is going to be 3.5 by 3 metres. We'll start by marking out where our post holes will go. We're now going to build our profiles. Profiles and string lines are essential to establish a square and level area. We build profiles to fix string lines too. Place your profile at least half a metre back from your outside corners. Lay two bits of 4x1 down, peg them in place and make sure they're level. Put two nails into the profiles in line with the corner marks and run your string lines. Finally, we measure the diagonals to ensure their area is square. Right, you see this corner? This is the outside line of our post. Our post holes are going to be 400 square by 500 deep. Before you start digging, contact your local utility companies to make sure you don't hit anything you shouldn't. I'll put my string lines back on, and in the bottom we'll toss a concrete block for the post to sit on, so the posts sit off the ground. Then we put in the posts, line them up against the string lines, then brace them, make sure the plumb, and then pour in your concrete. Use a stick to vibrate the concrete to make sure there's no air bubbles in it. I've let our concrete set for 24 hours. I can now take down our string lines, profiles and braces. Right, time to mark the post to length and where the rebates for our bearers to sit on will be. We're making our pergola two metres high to the underside of the bearers. I'm just going to use an offcut of the bearer to mark out our rebate. I now want to transfer a rebate mark onto our other three posts. To do this, I'm just going to knock in a nail on our rebate mark, I'm taking a nice straight piece of timber, put that on our nail, throw a level on there, and transfer that mark onto our other posts. We're now going to chop the top of our posts off. Next thing we need to do is chop out our rebate. Now I just want to set our blade of our circular saw to the depth of our cut. Right, now it's time to cut our bearers. My pergola is 3.5 metres wide, I'm going to overhang our bearer 300 millimetres past the sides of the post. So that means our bearer needs to be 4.1 metres long.
Now I'm going to shape our bearers. To do that, I'm going to come in 300 millimetres and then down 35. The next thing to do is to mark the position of the rafters on the bearers. I'm going to use eight rafters, so I'm going to mark out the bearers to make sure they're evenly spaced. We come back to our 300mm mark, square that up, do that on either end, and then we can evenly mark out our rafters. I'm using an offcut of a rafter to get the width right. Our pergola is 3 metres deep. We're making the rafters 3.6 metres long. This includes an overhang of 300 millimetres on each side. Now I'm going to cut the battens that go on top of the rafters. The pergola is 3.5 metres wide, so I'm going to make the battens 3.6 metres long. That includes a 50 millimetre overhang on either side. The battens go onto the rafters. A quick way to mark the positions is to line all the rafters up and mark them at the same time. I'm going to put my battens at 300 millimetres apart, but you can do whatever you want. Right, just throw your bearer and your rebates and just clamp them to the post so you can drill the holes for the bolts. And just remember when you're up a ladder, be careful. Lay the rafters on the bearers and because we've already marked where they go, laying them out is easy. Just one skewed nail on either side should do it. If you want to speed things up, you can use one of these. And finally, we just lay our battens on top of our rafters and just fix straight through. Here's another tip. Pre-drill the holes at the end of each batten to stop the timber splitting. Now let's just make sure we've got our 50mm overhang and then just nail them on. Job done, and now you're the proud owner of your own pergola. Easy as. For all the help and advice you need to get the job done, just head down to Mitre 10.